lesson on left hand techniques. Now, I thought I'd make a mini series on a few left hand techniques. Today, we're going to work on the hammer on and the pull off. Um, and if you're new here, uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a subscriber, then hit that bell notification and you'll get an alert every time I post a new lesson. All right, so let's start with the hammer on. Um, well, what is a hammer on? It's essentially you're using your left hand and you're tapping the string to play a note, okay? Like that. Now, um, the pull-off is, is the opposite. You're gonna remove a finger from the strings and in a sense, you're plucking with your left hand, right? Like that. Now, in general, there's more opportunities to do hammer-ons than there are pull-offs, but I'll show you some, of, um, some good examples of both. More importantly, when do you play a hammer-on um, and how do you play it? You, you want to play these in time with the music, okay? So if the subdivision or if the pulse, the groove is in 16th notes, then you want to play that hammer on in time. So let me demonstrate. One in yana, two in yana, right? Okay. The other thing to keep in mind is as you're playing a hammer on it, it essentially is replacing one of your strums, okay? I'm gonna do this a little bit slower. If the 16th note is like this, one E and the, two E and the, right? Right, so I'm not strumming up when I use that hammer on. Um, and again, it works in all kinds of grooves, right? So if you had like a triplet groove, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's now work through a few chords. I would encourage you to just explore all the chords you know and just start tapping, tapping away, right? Figure out what sounds good to you um, and see how you can incorporate that into your strumming, right? So um, let me give you an example of a few that some we've already covered, like a G, right? That works well. This also works well for the pull off, right? Because you can use your pinky here, like that. Um, We've got the F chord, right? The F works well with an index finger. Sometimes you can use both your index and your middle finger, like that. You can even put your pinky or your ring finger on the, um, on the C of the A string. Okay. Um, and then let's see, let's go to some minor chords. We've got the E minor chord here. You can even do E minor 7, like that. You've got D minor, right, with the index finger here. Um, you can play D minor 7. Um, and let's talk about some dominant chords. You've, uh, primarily, it's going to be this A7 shape, right? It's like this. All right, you're going to go with that index finger on that C string. Um, so those are all the open position chords. Let's move um, to some bar positions. And there's, there's just a few of them that will work, right? Generally, when, you're, when your index finger is barring across all of the uh, strings, that's where uh, you can start laying down your other fingers. So for instance, like a C7, right? you can use that middle finger and you're playing that minor third, major third. So it sounds so good. It's used a lot in blues, right? Like a... Yeah. Um, another thing you could do with the bar is if you were to play like a major seven chord. So for instance, like a D major seven chord. Right? You could do a... Right. Um, and I find those to be kind of the two chords where I'm using hammer-ons. Um, these bar positions, it's, it's, a little, it's actually pretty hard to do a pull-off, um, and I, I, I rarely do that, but maybe once in a while, a C7, right? I might do like a, I'm playing that nine, right, with that D there. But it's, it's very few and far between where you're doing pull-offs 
uh, with bars, uh, with bar chords. Okay, so let's, uh, let me give an example now. I'm just gonna play a song. We'll do Elvis Presley's uh, Can't Help Falling In Love. And I'm gonna try to play almost every chord with a hammer on. Uh, I wouldn't normally do this, but just to emphasize like how this works, here we go. I'm gonna do it in the key of C. So that was an example of how to use hammer-ons and pull-offs. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more lessons on left-hand techniques. Thanks.